Hi, I'm Sydney. And Connor. And welcome back to my Flock and Squawk. So today we are trying three chips from Lay's mm -hmm. that are not of the U.S. Yeah. Two of them appear to be Thailand, and then one I think is Chinese. Yeah, or Taiwan. Um, no, it? it's it's definitely. Um, yeah, it's got. It has. Um, oh well, no, it says Taiwan. Oh. All right. So are these all? Uh, and then that. This cause... Thailand, Taiwan, so different, but. Yeah. Yes. So we have the first one, which is hot chili flavor. We have mala barbecue and a prick pow cheese. Mm -hmm. All of them have similar motifs on them of being spicy. This one shows more meat. This one shows cheese, but it has like the spicy pot of stuff that has yeah. the chilies on display. I like, yeah, this has like the dried chili pepper crisp going on. Mm -hmm. So, so how about we start with that one? Okay. Yeah, this one seems like the most uh, straightforward. Mm -hmm. So we got these. I know we got a couple of them in Ooh. Portland. Mm -hmm. I forget where we got. Oh, um. Is it lunchbox or yeah, what? yeah boxed lunch? That's it. At a mall. Wow, this uh, it smells like ramen and something. It's got a lot of. It's it almost of, yeah, kind of sweet. And it almost has like a maybe bonita flakes, some sort of like fish, kind of almost in there, like a fish oil, maybe something. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's uh like fish oil. I mean, all well, the ingredients right here maybe because they do have translated ingredients. There's just yeah, it has like like I said like bonita flake almost to it. Wait. Uh... I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's spelled D O U B A N J I A N G style seasoning powder. Oh. Which says red pepper, broad bean, salt, wheat flour. So maybe it's just in one of like the seasonings. Yeah. It also uh, specifies that it's not suitable for patients with some sort of disease, cumin, star anise, and whey powder. Interesting. Very interesting. So, but yeah, I was, this is already very different than I was expecting mm -hmm. it to smell like. It smells good. But... It does. All right, let, let's give it a go. One shot. Ooh. Nice big one. That is a very big. And it's a pleasing look. It's not overly seasoned. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, they have the look of a barbecue chip with how red yeah, they are. Definitely. Dink. Dink. Warning, this video includes unaltered sounds of us crunching away on potato chips. If you don't like the sound of people eating chips, maybe consider skipping this one. Although you were the one who clicked on this video. So really, that's on you. Don't blame me if you get a little ick from this crunch. It, it tastes like our Chinese food we had last night. Mm -hmm. Kind of that um flavored oil it almost has um yeah like the general sells chicken mm -hmm. not as sweet as what i was anticipating based on the smell because it smells fairly sweet mm -hmm. yeah and it's not as um it's not as just straight like because i was thinking it might taste like chili oil mm -hmm. obviously not oily but like a dry chili pepper flake but it doesn't really have that flavor either. It's interesting. I don't know. And it, do it doesn't have any like heat building because mm -mm. sometimes when you eat a chip, there's a little more heat on the back end. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that. No. It's almost uh, bland compared to what I was imagining. Yeah. Not bland as a chip, but just sort of compared to what I was thinking. What's funny, like you say bland too, because I was thinking that as well, because it also, whatever the flavor's doing, it takes away the potato flavor. Mm -hmm. Like, cause like even like a classic, just plain lay or like a uh, ruffle, it's like there, you taste the potato with it. And it's like, it's just, it's just potato, salt and oil. Mm -hmm. This, whatever this flavoring is, it's like removing that flavor too. And it does have a pretty substantial like ingredient list. Mm -hmm. the, at least what is translated on the sticker on the side. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, but it's not 
I, I wouldn't get it again. No. Not exciting enough. Like, for going out of our way to get yeah. a chip from a different country, mm -hmm. this just doesn't quite land. I'd say, it, honestly, it's like a 4 out of 10, just because it's boring. It's I'd not bad, I'd but... probably put it, like... Yeah, four or five. Mm -hmm. Very middle of the road. Not good, not bad, just eh. Eh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, on to the next one. Yeah, which one would you prefer, barbecue or cheese? Um, Let's say barbecue for the last one. Let's go cheese. Is it? Yeah. This one. I'm not, yeah. I think it's supposed to be like a Swiss cheese based on the picture because I am not entirely sure what... Prick pow cheeses. Prick pow cheese. And then this. It, it could totally be that I just don't know how to pronounce. Yeah, it looks like Swiss cheese and chili oil. It also has chili oil on the picture, like it actual. It does. Let's see what. Yeah, it just says uh, prick pow cheese flavor. It does not. Uh, <laughs> it does contain shrimp, milk, fish, and soybeans. Yeah. So that's not very exciting to me. That's like kind of like the Bonita flakes to me is like. They put those a lot in, like, Mexican snacks, so. Not vegetarian. Yeah. Woo. This one was pressure. Yeah, the other one was very thick. I wonder if the bag's more, like, recyclable or something. It seems less Ooh. recyclable, honestly. Yeah, it makes you wonder. That has um, a very cheesy smell to it. Yeah. Like, real cheese, not, like, not fake American. Maybe that's why it was upset. How long have we been kicking these around? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's see. Manufacture date. So it says best by March twenty fifth of twenty five. Okay. And it was so. manufactured September twenty fifth of twenty three. So it's, it's a that's, year. That's that's a very long poll date. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. grab a they're chip very, this thing. They're very white. They have like a slight tinge of color to them, but not as much as the previous. Yeah. Think. That's like harsh cheddar. That was like a swirl of all kinds of different flavors there. Oh, like, now I'm getting like C. Yeah, it was like it was like cheddar and then shrimp, uh, like bonita flakes and everything. <laughs> Margaret wants some. Mm, mm mm. The second one was kind of a mistake on my part. There's more to it than the first one, but I feel like I'd have to rank it lower just because of how little I enjoyed at that. It's nowhere near, nowhere near bacon chips, though. <laughs> no. no, I'd say this is also a four for me. I don't hate it. It's also just not doing much for me. It might be like a three for me. Mm hmm. <laughs> It's pretty low on my list of chips. I, know, more I, I would not eat these at a party, or if they were offered to me, I'd say, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. These have more of the potato flavor that I like. But the roller coaster they took me on, taste-wise, is first... not worth. Yeah, um, they're whatever to me. They don't, they don't bother it, me. For me, it was like hard-aged cheddar, sweet, and then fish came in at the end and now I have like a slight slight little bit of heat mm -hmm. that like not actually spicy but like that tingle like it's making me my mouth water oh I see not like it's actually spicy mm -hmm. so this yeah. I'd pass for me and we purposely picked chips that we thought would be appealing yeah we didn't go for some of the more um uh adventurous ad yes adventurous is the perfect word because there were a lot of seafood ones mm -hmm. that to me did not sound the most appealing yeah there was one uh, i remember the seafood one there was one that was like um it was what do you call it like durian and something oh yeah, yeah. it was um yeah some sort of that kind of smelly fruit yeah so, and I never, I've never had durian or jackfruit yet. So, and I think I remember saying, I think I want to actually try the real fruit before mm -hmm. I have like a chip or anything with that. Yeah. And I've had jackfruit. Mm -hmm. It wasn't my favorite. Mm -hmm. It was just, eh. 
but I had it as like a savory meat alternative. That's how I've heard about it served, you and know. It, it just didn't do it for me. Well then, yeah. on to the last chip. Yes, let's get on to the last chip. So the last chip is this mala barbecue, which I have high hopes for. Yeah, I, I, I imagine it's going to be like a Polynesian flavor. Um, which that's kind of why I was like, let's put that as the last one because I feel like that's the most promising. It definitely sounds more promising after trying those ones. I was genuinely bummed about the chili crisp one because mm -hmm. the first one because I was expecting to really like that because I love chili crisp. Whoa, Strongly that smells like scented. that smells like straight up beef ramen. <laughs> we just toss a bully on cube in there. They yeah. are. Back, they are with ridges this time. Yeah, they're like ruffles. And they're back to being more of an orange color like the first chip. That's a weird flavor. Very well, it's, beefy. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. Like spicy, oily beef. That's really spicy. After the first initial shock, because I've never had a chip that was that savory. It is very, and it's like savory in a good way, not like the bacon chip yeah. savory. Mm -hmm. No, that's actually good. The first, he, he, you, I don't know if you saw it, but you'll see it when you're watching this mm -hmm. back. My face was very like, hmm? And it has that oily quality again. Mm -hmm. Like it feels oily. Yeah, I wonder if it's like, um, I wonder if they use like soy oil, because I know that, you know, they, they fry a lot of stuff in like Asian food. So... It contains wheat and soybeans. Um, it's got paprika. <laughs> nitrogen. <laughs> Specifically, nitrogen is one of the uh, um, ingredients. This says artificial flavor, but it's palm oil. There's a 35.9% palm oil, and palm oil is a very mm -hmm. thick. Yeah, it has a very coat your tongue quality. Mm hmm. But. Not bad. Like this one is definitely a standout winner for me. This is like probably like close to a seven. Yeah, I'd put it like six or seven. Mm -hmm. I think way um, better than the first two. Yeah, no, it's definitely got a good flavor, mm -hmm. and it's um, way more flavor than the first chip. Mm -hmm. On par with the second chip for amount of flavor that you actually get out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has an interesting. Um, there's like an interesting aftertaste and it's like that oily like you're talking about. It's like, um, um, there's like cup noodle pho. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Almost be, and those tend to have little like oil packets. Yeah. It tastes like Actually, that. Oh, that's what it smells like. You're right. Yeah. It smells like that specific cup noodle yeah. style of it. Yeah, the instant pho. Because it comes with like two packets. You open it, there's the noodles, then you pull out the packets. One yeah. you, is like the broth flavor, mm -hmm. and then one is an oil. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually. That's what it tastes and smells like. Mm -hmm. In the convenient package of a potato chip. Mm -hmm. This is actually, yeah. And that's the oily, it does have that oily texture that mm -hmm. like leaves in your mouth and stuff. That's The oily texture is what bumps it down for me. The flavor is really good. The oily texture that it leaves... Mm -hmm. It's like I wouldn't want to eat more of those just because I don't really like the oily feeling it that yeah. hangs around. But no, they're very tasty. And yeah, it totally is fun. Now, now that my mind is on it, eating another one is like, yeah, that's exactly mm -hmm. what it tastes like. Yeah, I'm glad we could narrow it down. Mm -hmm. And these are definitely the winner of the three. I'll go full seven on it. Yeah, yeah you know, you're right. Mm -hmm. I would totally eat these at a party if someone offered or whatever the circumstance might be. I would eat a bag of this size over a, the duration of a night. Like that's because yeah. they, they're not very, they're not slammable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are not, none of these seem to be slammable. No. The first Which one kind of could be, but not, they aren't a flavor that I'd be in the mood to do that with. Yeah. The, I could see someone doing that with. I would rather have plain potato chips than the first one yeah and these like like i said if someone else offered them but i don't think that i would be purchasing them i would say total if someone offered this to me i might be surprised and put off by the first initial spot but if you told me these taste like pho like instant pho and then i'd be like what and then i eat it and then go oh yeah and then it's good so 
yeah. know what you're getting into. <laughs> so I guess we'll uh, wrap that up here. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I Thank hope you, you block and squawk again with us sometime. And uh, let us know what flavor of chip you would recommend that's from another country, any country other than the U.S. Yeah. Feel free to chime in. Or if you've never tried a chip from another country, let us know what is your favorite Lay's chip flavor or chip flavor in general mm -hmm. that you can easily get here. Mm -hmm. But thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.